And this is Devin, and she is uh, a Bernie Sanders campaign worker, and I'm interviewing her just on a few things about Bernie. Uh, thank you for doing this, Devin. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about here is, like, any background info, you know, like, uh, say, Bernie pre-candidacy. Yes, I do. Um, first of all, he grew up in Brooklyn, New York, in a rent-controlled home um, because they were very poor, from immigrant parents from Germany. And um, he used to say that he learned about democracy in the playgrounds, playing ball, because they had to work out their disputes among themselves. So then he ended up going to college in Chicago, and it was there that he started working for the Corps. And the Corps means the Congress of Racial Equality. And he was one of two students appointed to the commission. And he was very involved, it really bothered him to see people segregated against um, due to their color as far as housing where they could live on campus. Um, uh, and this also bothered him as a child in the playground to, to see children picking on one another. This just bothered him very, very much. And I think it, that that was something that started to build his character from an early age on. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. That's a good uh, characteristic to have because I think that shows how much he does really care about people. Yeah. And I think that uh, the country could really use something uh, like that. Uh, like someone who doesn't just care for the poor, someone who do doesn't just care for the middle class, but someone who cares for uh, everyone. Everyone. That's right. That's right. And that's the heart and soul of who Bernie is. Um, and, it, and it showed up very early in his life. This isn't just something that he, he, he so, sort of developed in order to look good or anything else. It's just something in him. Okay, so then later on, he ended up running for mayor. And I believe the first time around, he didn't make it by only about a point or two, hair. you know, by a slim margin. Then he tried again. He was, he's just always been trying, he never gives up. The sky's the limit, he would say, which means he, he just has vision and you never give up. Never you know, give this, um, this type of attitude, which is just incredible. And so he fought again to try it again. Oh, and another thing, he never took campaign financing from even way back then. Wow. Never. Oh. Never, never, never. He raised his money from the people. That's amazing. Because he did not want to be beholden to the corporations who give the money. I think I remember in some of my former <coughs> research uh, on him that I saw a statistic that 99.98% of his uh, campaign funds now were actually uh, campaign donations, and the 0.02% left was from super PACs and other uh, corporations. But if you look at the sum that uh, was raised, it was amazing, mm -hmm. uh, because it was well into the million. Became mayor of Burlington, Vermont, his hometown, actually, and um, during his campaign financing for, for that, or he did take some PAC money, but now he isn't. He also takes now um, money from unions, and a lot of people are against this. You know, they think that unions are a bad thing, but unions are what created our middle class. They um, stopped the child labor laws. They gave us the 40-hour work week and the weekends. Unions. And they are extremely important to, to strengthen and uphold. And this is uh, something that Bernie wants to do when he gains the presidency. 
is to make sure that they are strong to, to um, help support the American people. It's always a good thing. Yes, yes. I like weekends a lot. Yeah. They're yeah. great, yeah. aren't they? Everybody needs a weekend. Yeah. Vermont, he became the senator of Vermont. That's some experience right there. That's good, that's good experience for the president. Yes. Um, and he's been a senator for 35, I believe, 35 years. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. Pretty impressive. All right, so why don't we move on? So I actually made a survey for this, and a lot of people responded to it, but I got three uh, comments that said, uh, he's a socialist for why you shouldn't vote for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've heard of two different kinds of uh, socialism, democratic socialism and socialism. Can you define each one and tell me which one Bernie Sanders is? Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Socialism is the organizing of a society where the industries are owned and controlled by the government rather than people and, and companies and then the goods are handed out amongst the people according to how they they perceive it should be. Yeah, so that's very restrictive. Very restrictive. Yeah. Very, very restrictive and, and, and can get even more so restrictive, you know, because they're in control, you know. So I'm going to take a wild guess that, that that's not the one that Bernie Sanders is, that he's a Democratic <laughs> Socialist. I'm going to take right. just a, and, a little swing at Oh, him. yeah, yeah. And I think that your wild guess would be absolutely correct because he is not and has never claimed to be. Um, he proudly claims to be a Democratic Socialist. And I'll, I'll give you a little bit on what that is. And they believe that the economy and the society should be run democratically. Oh, so very, uh, let's do it uh, for democracy. Let's, uh, that's, for that's, the people for and the by people, the people. By the people, uh, of the people. Sounds I, like our constitution, doesn't sounds it? Sounds like the Pittsburgh <laughs> Address, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And um, to meet the public needs, the public needs, and not to make profits for the few at the very tippy top. Oh, so that's a uh, very pro middle class trying to uh, create uh, less poverty and generally injecting more into the middle class. That sounds that sounds good. That yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, and it's not against the people up at the top. It's just to spread it out. Spread it out, yeah. So, so that it isn't all, at this point, what has happened There's is it's no, all at the very tippy, tippy top. So it's not like an hourglass, uh, no, not an hourglass, there's very few up here. Like a, like a very yeah. small vial up here, and then like the thi really thin part is the middle yeah. class, and then you have this hulking thing. A huge thing that's holding the whole thing up, and it can't, it, it can't, can't. <laughs> it can't anymore. <laughs> okay, so... And the thing about the ones at the top is that the corporate billionaires are about 95% paying no taxes whatsoever. Not one penny in taxes. So Bernie Sanders wants to change that. Yes, he does. And because a society cannot, cannot exist if there is not money coming back into it, and if only the people on the bottom are putting money into it. Cool. A society cannot exist that way. All right, so okay, I'm going to move on. Move on. The next thing we're going to ask is, uh, do you, can you like explain some of his uh, long-term goals, like for uh, the economy, the environment, maybe uh, prison reform? gun control and like things like that. Okay, all right. And um, what he calls this is his platform, but that's the little technical term, but goals is, is right in there too. And um, he wants to end prisons for profit completely. Yeah, um, we're like, aren't we, pa isn't, I've seen this a, st a statistic, uh, isn't it like getting people uh, like rehab and things like that? is less expensive than keeping 
the a lot so many people in jail because I know that we have like more people in jail than a bunch of other countries than any other country we could change that I bet yes we certainly could um, yes we certainly could Okay, and then, um, so we could move on to, to guns. He wants to ban, um, put a ban on assault weapons. He doesn't believe that anybody needs those. It's not um, like you're going to go hunting with, like, an M16. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, but, and, and, um, let's see. And then stricter gun laws in terms of keeping them out of the hands of criminals and mentally ill people. Right, yeah, like background checks. Oh, what about gun shows? Do you know anything um, about, like, gun shows? Um, I think that, that there would still be probably gun shows, but stricter laws and who, and who, you know, stricter laws that would confine them to who they can, they can be selling them to. And I don't know how that how that would end up working out, but we'll leave that to Bernie in terms of how, how you really get the control in there. So just um, to recap, he's not for uh, taking away all guns, he's just for not selling automatic weapons, not yeah. selling for yeah. recreational use, Yeah. Uh, strictly for the harming of other human beings. Yes, exactly. And, you know, he agrees that people should maybe be able to have a gun in their home if they need it to protect themselves, but they c cannot, you don't need an assault rifle to, to shoot somebody if they come into your home to, to harm you. That is you know? true. You know, one shot from a little tiny pistol would, would probably do it. Yeah. So, okay, and as far as um, he believes in equal rights for gay and transgender, including marriage, which we do have that now. Yeah, that's, that's a good Yay. Thing. And he has since the 1970s. He was the very, very first um, person to come out on that. That's awesome. I mean, I think that you should just be able to choose. Uh, he... Yeah, I think I heard him say that he believes that it should be the person's choice, not the government's choice. I mean, they aren't in your situation. Right. I mean, right. it could feel gross, it could feel wrong uh, to you to be, uh, to be a boy when you think you're meant to be a girl. Right. Or uh, marrying someone of the opposite sex when you, uh, when you don't want to. Right, right, yeah. And so this would allow them a place in our society where they can be safe and, and not be, have to struggle so much to, to be accepted. Um, yeah. And so let's see, as far as climate change, he um, was asked what the most important thing is facing our nation, our world. And he said climate change. And that is the number one most important thing, because if you don't fix that, not, n none of the other stuff is going to matter much. That's true. I've also heard that he wants to switch to like 100% clean energy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so about education. Uh, yes, education. It would be um, free community college tuition. Yeah, that's public. I mean, yes. so, yeah, public, yes. public college should be free. I yeah. mean, and imagine what uh, you, so many of our youngsters could do if they could go to college for free. I mean, imagine. Yes, absolutely. You could have, uh, your wildest dreams could come true. Yes. <laughs> you know, like everything that, you know, it, it would be right there. Right there. It would. It's a choice, not a struggle. Right. And, and, Ger and he did Germany say that really you'd have to do really, really well in school. You know, that's his, his bottom line. You know, if you're going to be skipping out of school and doing stuff like that and not being a real serious student, well, then this free tuition isn't going to be for you. It's going to be for people who really... Who want it. Yeah, who, who sh you know, have that desire, you know. And he would like to reform the whole entire police departments. You know, they need to be um, totally reformed. Right, demilitarized. Demilitarized, yes. So you don't feel like you're being 
Well, I, what was the word he used? I feel it was invaded. Yeah, invaded by an army, some some foreign army, and um, to have them, if they commit a crime, that they will do 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 the time just do like time. anybody else. Yeah. You no, know, so. Um, well, uh, what about health care and veterans? Oh yeah, um, single payer health care for all. And this would actually, even though you would pay into it, the amount that you would save on, on the deductibles and prescription costs and this and that, you, each family would, get, would actually be saving about $900 a year. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So you would pay more in taxes, but be, but you would save about nine hundred dollars in your overall, which is fantastic. That's so some people awesome. go, oh, but we have to pay, but but they aren't looking at the big huge picture. Yeah, so it's you're like gonna actually say, you're gonna pay back. more here, but you're gonna save more there. Yeah, it kind of cancels it out. Yeah, and he believes that it's okay. a human right that everybody, everybody as important as anybody else and that we all deserve health care bottom line and for 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 seniors he believes in expanding social security and which means that he would um remove the cap that's on there right now up at the top and have the the um trying to think of what it's called will have the bill, uh, corporate billionaires pay into it. Right now they are not paying into it. Only a certain, um, up to a certain amount, uh, people making up to a certain amount of money are paying into it. And then up above that, they don't have to. Seems and like so, it should be the other way around. Exactly. Thank so you, so to have them pay into it, and it would keep Social Security solvent for another 70 years. And... Mm -hmm. Because people can't get by on a thousand, two hundred, and even less a year. Um, That's true. Yeah. yeah, and and some people say, well, uh, some people forget that that's that that's the people's money. That yeah. they had that taken out of their taxes to be set aside for when they retired. I mean, that's that's literally less than a minimum wage worker makes a year. I mean, I again yeah. from my uh, earlier report. Uh, they made, uh, I think it was like $15,000 a year, about rounded off. Right. Uh, so that's less uh, to live off of, and that's a constant income. So. Right, right. Yeah. And so, um, are there any other? Sure. Uh, well, this one's an easy one. Are the previous uh, goals that we mentioned plausible? I mean, that's one of the biggest things I've heard, like, uh, these are campaign promises. This won't get. Uh, this won't ever get done, or it isn't even possible to do. I and Bernie would say that the, it's totally possible. Is it like? Uh, give me some examples, I suppose. Okay. Well, it's financially possible. It is um, people-powered possible. Meaning, he has always said from the beginning of the campaign that he cannot do this alone. That this is not about him, it's about we, us. Group effort. Group effort. And that may mean us needing to take to the streets to get things passed, to raise our voices. But we're willing to do this for as long as it takes. Yeah. 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 And as far as as financially being possible, it all depends on where that money's going. Yeah. Our tax money is going somewhere. It is. And so we can get to decide as a people where this money goes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a good I think that would be nice to know where your tax money is going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I remember in Germany, uh, getting back to the other topic, um, uh, it, that they have free college tuition, so I say uh, if 
they can do that, we can do that. Uh, yes, yes, and, and how Bernie plans to accomplish that is to do a, I believe it's about a 2%, maybe even like a 1% tax on the speculations on Wall Street. They're speculating every second of every day, just speculating, speculating. And this raises a massive amount of money for them. <laughs> Yeah. And so he would put a tax on every 100 to $200, I'm not going to remember exactly, you can look this up and get it correct, but it amounts to 50 cents of tax. So for 100 to $200 worth of speculation, 50 cents would be gathered out of that. Uh, this would create $500 billion in revenue to pay for free college for all of you bright young that is, students. That is amazing. <laughs> that and is. that will not crush down the Wall Street people yeah. to hand over 50 cents out of every 100 to 200. I can't remember what it is, but that is not going to ruin them. Well, no matter how much they cry, it's not going to ruin them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's where that would come from. I've and then uh, other things to build the bridges, um, to build, re rebuild our infrastructure, which is just crumbling, crumbling, crumbling. He would um, put um, taxes on, on companies that are taking their, um, corporations that are taking their jobs overseas, big, huge corporations corporations, he would tax them to try to bring them back, you know, so, so that it's not as lucrative for them to go overseas and take the jobs away. Um, and he has some other plans too. And then this would create a massive amount of money to put back into building the infrastructure and creating massive amounts of jobs. And this is very much needed. Yeah, jobs, yeah. Are, jobs are good. I've also heard that he's going to try to put a tax on carbon pollution. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that that would be a good thing. That would be getting companies to reduce their carbon footprint by a lot. I mean, taxes, uh, they, while they, not everyone loves them, they can, they can do great things. Yes, yeah. And then yeah. I'm guessing that money will go into another one of his plans, like the college or maybe even repairing the highway. But right, uh, right. I think that's that would be great. Final question uh, is well, basically I'm just gonna bounce some criticisms uh, that I got from my survey uh, to you, and you're gonna basically just try to tell me if they're true or not. Mm -hmm. So the first one uh, is that even if he becomes the Democratic uh, candidate, he won't be able to beat Trump in a race. Hmm. Um, I think that that's by all the polls out there, he will beat Trump by surprising numbers. Uh, I've heard that uh, he would also beat uh, Trump, like maybe, like, what did you say again? All polls I've seen have him beating Trump more than, uh, by a much larger margin than he, than Hillary beats Trump. Yes. Do so you think yes. the cameraman? She's yeah, great, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. That's um, correct. So uh, then another one is uh, he's not committed to the American freedom, and this goes along with socialism, and we discussed that earlier. Yeah. So my, uh, so my I, guess I, is... I think that he's no. more committed to the freedom of the American people than... than I, I think that that comes from a lot of people's fear about what's, what, oh. Demo <laughs> what democratic socialism is. But we already cleared that up, and, and if people really come to an understanding of what it is, they'll see that he's more yeah. about the freedom than the control. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> then, the, actually, the same person said this, uh, that he has no legislative experience, okay. which you can prove wrong because oh, he was I'm... a senator and a mayor. Yes, exactly. And I'm going to just give you a, a quick rundown of, of some 
of the legislation that he passed, that was passed. And um, corporate crime accountability, saving money for colleges and taxpayers, holding IRS accountable, protecting pensions, expanding free health care, getting tough on child labor, increasing funding for heating for the poor, fighting corporate welfare, and protecting against nuclear disasters, greening the U.S. government, protecting our troops, restricting the bailout to protect U.S. workers, helping veterans' kids, exposing corruption in the military industrial complex, support for treating autism in military health care. Uh, Use, okay, so those are some of the things that he has accomplished and passed, legislation that has actually been passed. So, like, for the other uh, Democratic candidate, Hillary, like, who has passed more in general? I just... I, I've know. seen some statistics, and he has actually passed more. Bernie Sanders has actually passed more. He's able to get it done because people have a high respect for him. Even though they may disagree with him, they have a high respect for this man. Because he's know. fair. He learned that on the playground, remember? Yeah, right. I remember <laughs> that. That's a good way to learn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then we also seem to cover this one. Uh, there's no way to get the money for his plans. Uh, obviously there is. Um, yes. Taxing Wall Street. Yes. Uh, and then he uh, says uh, he's going to introduce too many social services so we can't uh, generate the money to pay for them. Well, right now, that, that's another thing that we did talk about, was that the money's there. The money's there. A lot of it is held up in that the taxes are not being paid by the corporate billionaires. Okay? So if they were to be, by laws, forced to pay their share in taxes, there would be even more money there. And right now, our money is going to subsidize a lot of these corporations when they don't even need to be subsidized at all. I'm talking about millions, millions and millions of dollars. It is something like, it's $9 million per corporation every single year goes to subsidize them out of our taxpayer money. Now, now this should be cut out completely. They don't need this. What? Why do they need to be subsidized? Or, or they are poor. Well. They're, They're doing, doing well. They're doing well. They're doing very well. You know. Yeah. And so we should take this money, and put this instead into the programs that we need. All right. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Uh, and then our <laughs> final one for the day. Okay. Uh, that he relies. <laughs> That he relies way too much on the government to get things done. That's where the people come in, I exactly. guess. You know, like, um, it, because I guess the government doesn't like to get things done, do they? Yeah. You know? And so, um, <laughs> if that's what you mean, I know that you probably don't mean that by this yeah. question, but that's... that's yeah. Um, and the government is supposed to get things done. They are supposed to represent the people, not the corporations. All right. This is how our Constitution was set up. They are meant to be representatives of we the people, which means that... By the people, for the people. Exactly. Exactly. All right, thank you very much. That's oh, the time you're we very have today. welcome. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Devin, I'm vote so Bernie glad. Sanders 2016.